Hi guys, what's up? My name is Saurav and welcome to another video for Limit Solutions. And this video I'm going to show you how you can print any development using JavaScript. So I'm just going to open Visual Studio Code and I'll just open a folder. So in the Docs desktop, I'll just create a new folder that is printf. Sorry for the background noise, guys. So I'll just create a printf and I'll just select the folder from here. And yes, I trust the author. And I'm just going to create a index.html file and I'll just add a boiler template and uh, I'll be using the bootstrap code so I'll be using uh, the table bootstrap table and I'll take any table from here that is basically um, let's just say this one and I'll just copy it and I'll just paste it over here and once I save it and if I run the application so I'm using live server extension here in order to run the application so if you like to install it in your machine so all you have to do is that you just have to go to the extension and just search live server and once you do once that is done you can just your your application your visual studio code is ready to render the application you know using live server so you can see that we have just I have already installed live server so I'll just right click on it and uh, I'll just click on open with live server so once I do that uh, like the application running on board number 5501 and we can just see the output but this is the output what we are not expecting we are expecting the output something like this so what like this so in order to get this output we'll have to add a bootstrap senior link over here so we are not we haven't added any serial link like the javascript like the css we haven't added it yet so all we have to do is that we'll just have to go to get bootstrap.com and here we can just see the serial link over here so you can also install the package manager if you'd like to and uh, but if you are a bit lazy so you can just use a serial link directly into your application but this would require the internet connection uh, in order to run the application properly every single time so once you uh, copy it and uh, i'll just paste it within the hit tag at over here and uh, i'll just do the same with the uh, javascript link i'll just paste it below the body and once we do that and we so save the application so and now we can see that we are just getting the output that what we are expecting so we just have to whatever since we are using div in order to print the uh, page so we just have to whatever you know the section that we want to print we'll just put it within the dev element so i'll just create dev and uh, within that i just want a container so that will just you know uh, commit properly whatever that since it just come into the entire page so i just want there should be some space on the left and right so that's why i'm using a container and i'll just paste copy and paste the entire table within this dev element the container and once i save it this is what i was expecting and just coming up properly so we have put the container and everything within this single div and uh, i'll just add or uh, another div wherein i'll add a button so i'll just create a button and i'll just name it as print and once we save it we can just see that we're just getting this print button but now uh, i'll just want this button i'll just some apply some bootstrap button small button primary and once we do that we're just getting the proper output and uh, once uh, i'll just and now we'll just have to so we are done, done with all the steps and now the final step is that we have to add our javascript code so that is what we have been waiting for uh, so uh, in order to write a javascript application so i'm just gonna create a new uh, file it over here that is basically i'll just give it a name print.js and within that we're just gonna create a function so the function is already ready i'll just paste it over here and this is the function guys so that is something what uh, uh, we have to write so this is basically a function like the print div function and uh, we just whatever you know the development that we are uh, printing it we just have to name the id uh, like the get element by id we are just choosing it you can just choose class whatever that you like to and uh, we're just taking the print element whatever the inhale html that are there so we are just once we get that uh, we'll be opening you know a, a window wherein we'll be writing all of those stuff within that in our list like the body the div content you know 
everything and uh, once we do that you know uh, the page will be rendered properly so I'm just gonna use this dev element name and I'll just use it within the index.html so the div that we've created I'll just add a id using the this uh, the whatever we have added in javascript and since we are using the a uh, function so we just going to use a on click event so within this button I'll just type on click and we just have to paste put this function over here and we have to type you know the button type would be button so we are done with all these steps guys so now all we have to do is that we are just have to add this print.js file within this index.html in order to do that i'll just make it you just have to make sure that you know uh, the print this print.js whatever we have created we're just keeping it in the hit tag like i verb the development whatever we have created so i'll just use script and the source would be print.js and we'll just have to save it and once we do that and if that if we run the application now so if we just click on the print you can see that it's just working absolutely perfect but there's a problem with this uh, file guys so we since we're using the bootstrap so bootstrap is not getting rendered when we are writing the uh, when we are whenever we are printing the page so in order to print the page uh, using the bootstrap so all you have to do is that you just have to write a piece of code wherein we'll be adding a CDL link in our application so here after once we open the page we'll be adding a CDN bootstrap CDN link so this is what I've copied from the bootstrap itself so if we'll just go it over here on the bootstrap page and this is the href this is the link that I've copied it and pasted it in our file solution file and once we save it and now if we try to execute the application and if we just click on print you can see that our application is working absolutely perfect and just printing perfectly that how we uh, were expecting so that's it for today guys i hope this video was helpful helpful to you so don't, so don't forget to subscribe and you'll sort of stay happy and love to learn new life hacks starting technical difficulties bye bye